But why I'm here today is to talk about the technology, productivity, tips and strategies to really help you guys ignite your sales process and really take it to the next level. I mean, your industry, I grew up in the household. I know what your industry is like. I've visited several people preparing for this presentation to make sure that the things that I've uh, thought about in mind uh, would be applicable and would relate to your everyday needs. Uh, I also had a chance to send out a survey. Some of you had a chance to respond to that survey prior to us coming here. So we have some specific issues that we know we should be addressing. It just came out. It's called the Pulse Pen by Livescribe. What this pen does is it comes with its own notebooks. Uh, it has a daily journal, some things that look a little bit more professional than like a college ruled notebook here. But what it does is it allows me to write notes and capture audio and link my notes and the audio together at the same time. So it's like a TiVo for my notes. I can play back my notes at any given time. So here, I'm going to go back a few days. I'm going to turn the pen on. And we're going to go back a few days to when I was sitting down with another person that I think he bills about 500 or so thousand. Uh, so he's, he's, he's in the, he, he qualifies. And I was sitting down with him. And we were having a chat. Let me pull him up here. And I'll just I'm going to just touch the page of where I've already written notes. And once I do that. The technology link between the advisors and the marketplace is, is time consuming. Mm -hmm. You have to delegate it out. So that was, one, that was one time. Let's see. And then we started talking about he can't afford an IT person on staff. That's been the biggest problem I've had. What I really would like to start doing more of is communicating with blind emails to clients. So you get the idea. Now, what happens is I'm in, a, I'm in a meeting. Now, you might want to tell somebody you're recording them, right? I'm not getting into whether or not, you know, the legalities of recording people. You can get into that. But the point that I'm making is this technology allows me to actually listen. I'm not trying to write down every single thing. Your business is about listening. Huge about listening. You do some talking. You guys like to talk, too. But listening is what you do best. And then customizing the right approaches to them. So what I'm saying to you is you now have a way to make sure you have another set of ears in the room, assuming that you know you, you make your clients comfortable with that and, and you're capturing it. I don't have five pages of scribble scrabble. I have bullet points because I'm listening to what they're saying and only need to jot down a sentence here or a highlight there because it's captured. Uh, I wanted to talk quickly about creativity in your guys' industry. And when I say guys, I mean that universally, so I hope no one's getting offended that I'm saying that. Um, <clears throat> brainstorming has changed. If you go to a conference room and you start talking about, okay, let's start planning out how we're going to market for new clients and new business. Brainstorming the old way is gone. I need you guys to move on from whiteboards and those old brainstorm sessions and, and all those things. What I need you to do is anyone using Mind Manager? Mind Manager is one of the best pieces of software uh, built to help you visually understand complex information. So how do you take words, how do you take a brainstorming session and visualize that brainstorming session? Mind Manager helps you do that. And not only that, it has templates for all types of things for all types of industries. And not only that, in one click, you could make it into, that right there could turn into a Word document in one click. That right there could turn into a PowerPoint presentation. And it will know the head, the, the title page or the title slide is strategic business planning. <clears throat> Who here is using analysis, sales analysis tools? Yeah. You got data mining, sales analysis. You, you, CRM isn't it. CRM is just your contact layer to really analyze your projections, to really analyze your forecast, to really analyze your new business versus old business, you really need to start looking at sales analysis tools. The thing I like about this the most is that it can actually plug in data that you plug into it after meeting with clients, take competing data from your competitors, and give you a probability percentage of how likely or less likely you are to win a particular deal. Very powerful to have a five-page document in front of you showing you your weaknesses specific to the data. The data doesn't lie as long as you didn't lie. The data. I need a volunteer. 
First hand to go up. Oh, way in the back. You were quick. All right, come on up. Come on, Dan. Come on. This is, what's your name? Welcome. Jason, everybody say hi to Jason. Who wants to Jason, say hi to everybody. How about you, the smart, good-looking one. Okay, all right, so we have Jason. Jason, do, 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 we're going to put do. you on the leaderboard here. Jason's going in. Okay, let's play. Thousand this points. cue's for you. What is mind management? Is it a software that will increase sales, a way to manage my staff's minds, a Jedi mind trick, or a way to create complex strategies visually? It's a Jedi mind trick. Jedi mind trick? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, you take it. You have to D. take seconds. That would be D. <laughs> a blank or just Thank you so much, Mary. All right, we're going to give you one more shot at this. Okay. And give me one more shot. You're, you're, you're under a thousand now. I'm good. Let's dive this is your last into round one. two. Last round. Time to show what you know. One email productivity tip. Send an email to all your email to the recycle bin. Answer every single email as it comes in. Create your own email lottery system or use descriptive subject lines. That would be D, Mario. D. All right, you got it right. Give Jason a round of applause. He got one out of two. And for that, for that, you're going to go home with his very own jawbone. I'm going to give you your own right. jawbone. All right. Enjoy that, okay? My pleasure. All right, hope you have fun with that. Thanks again, Jason. Another round of applause to Jason. Good sport, man. Good sport. Appreciate that. Thanks for playing along. We're going to go through a few things. We're going to talk about uh, how tech mobility, if, if content is king, and I come from the content industry, and you guys serve content to your, to your uh, customers every day, and you have to translate that content every day. Uh, if content is king, then tech mobility, being able to be wireless and use technology, is definitely, absolutely, hands down, queen. Hands down. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. We will also talk about the number one productivity bottleneck, email. The number one productivity bottleneck. Uh, we'll discuss five top, what I call, sales 2.0. I'm sure other people are probably using that term, but us techies, we always love to throw things in an acronym and make it feel like we came up with it first. Uh, so five sales tools, tech sales tools, that I think you absolutely need to have. And then how to use the web to outsource Everything from uh, business processes to uh, uh, mundane tasks like personal errands. We're going to talk about that in the websites you can use. And then how to flip the web upside down to make the web work for you in a better way. And then lastly, we'll take a little look ahead and we'll take a fast forward glance at some of the trends and some of the technologies that are on the horizon that you should be aware of. So the first thing I want you all to do is trash your cell phones. Absolutely throw your cell phones away. If they look like this, I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. I know I looked around the room earlier. Some of you were making calls. You were checking voicemails. And some of you had phones just like this. I'm not trying to bash you. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm trying to help you. These phones can't help you. Little itty bitty flip phones like that and like this, they, they can't help you. You may as well be carrying one of these. And you guys remember these, right? You all probably had some of these <laughs> back in the day. The old Motorola flip phone, like the very first flip phone. You may as well have this, because all you're really doing with those phones are making phone calls. What I need you to do before you leave Los Angeles is to go and buy yourself a smartphone. And here's why. And I'll explain a smartphone and make sure that we discuss that. That phone that you're carrying cannot give you the added productivity that a smartphone can. The studies have been proven. Here's one that's up on the screen right now that will tell you that you will gain 60 minutes more productive time per day just by transitioning, doing it smartly, but by transitioning to a smartphone. Now you tell me what you can do with 60 minutes per day. I'm a crackberry. You know, I, I'm, I, I need my Blackberry. I have an iPhone, but the same for, I need to feel like I have access to my inbox. Is anybody else out there like that? Are you, are you fidgeting right now? Who's been checking email while I was up here talking? <laughs> it's precisely, precisely. And I don't blame you. Another, another speaker might be offended by that. I totally don't blame you. But I'm gonna show you some solutions so that it can enable you to not feel like you're missing anything. I'm gonna show you how you can walk away from email 
and not feel like you're missing anything. And look here, people. The phone still works. Use the phone. You don't have to use email for everything. Use the phone for your immediate stuff, please. Uh, and then number six, a lot of people fail on this. Using descriptive subject lines. I need to know in, in 10 words or less what that email is about. Not hello there, not following up, not you know 401k. I need descriptions. People want descriptions. So make it, remember that. That's going to get your open rate of your emails that much faster. <clears throat> it's going to get the attention that you're looking for and the response time you're looking for from people. Not to mention you're going to appreciate it on the flip side. And if the, sub, if the email messaging starts to change conversation and go in a different route to a different subject, please change the subject line or start a different email thread. Stop confusing yourself and bringing too much work into your email inbox. But the bottom line is it scans a business card in seconds, front and back, vertical or horizontal, doesn't matter, and then takes the information off the business card and puts it into the proper fields of your Outlook or your favorite contact management system. Who has time for data entry? You don't. Your assistants don't. You need them working on research. You need them working on proposals, not data entry.